What's up everybody on YouTube? Coming back to you with another video. This one, I'm throwing it back. This is how I first started my channel. It was with uh, two DF250RTC uh, SXRs from 2016. I bought them brand new. They were Chinese motorcycles. And we picked this one up. This is a Iceberg Fuerza 125cc. We picked this one up uh, in the beginning of the riding season. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a backstory of how we first started. Um, not first started, but how we got here. So this is a Ninja 600R. This one was my wife's bike. Uh, she rode it for three riding seasons uh she put when we first got it we got it with like twenty thousand miles she put like the first three thousand miles and i put the, the last four thousand miles uh because this is my bike and for those of you who have been around for a long time know that i used to have a 1000 in red just like this one but it was a 1000 um and it's gone because I'm keeping this one. My wife was always complaining that this one was too tall and too heavy. She is five foot nothing, uh, 110 pounds soaking wet. So she was always complaining that this one was heavy and tall. So I told her, all right, I'll sell one of the bikes and get her something smaller. And she said, sure, sell the red one because I was always complaining that it was too tall and too heavy. It was a 600 pound bike. And I am uh, five foot six, about 190 pounds. Um, and yes, I, I rode it with no problems, but I used to complain too. So I get it. So I told her, look, start looking for another bike uh, and we'll sell the red one. Uh, we sold the red one and she found this one on Marketplace. Uh, I got it for dirt cheap. I had a couple hundred miles on it. The guy bought it. This is a 2021. Uh, the guy bought it, rode it for a season, left it in his garage, and never rode it again. And uh, he threw it up for sale. And my wife saw it, and we snatched it up. Uh, we got it for a great deal. Um, so I can't really complain. We got it for half of what it's worth brand new. And like I said... He had a couple hundred miles on it, um, and my wife put another couple hundred miles on it. It's up to 667 miles right now. She is currently, she does currently ride it. Um, some mods that we did was we swapped out the handlebars for the KLX DRZ 110. Um, we did a nibby carb nibby carb with a this says a cone filter but i put a foam on top of it um because no matter what i did it was uh it was staying too uh either too rich or too lean so um not to mention that the cone filters they're not really that great with uh small particles so I, I put that up there. It's working great. It's burning fine. I checked the spark plug the other day. It's uh, is is a nice caramel color, nice brown caramel color. So I know it's burning. It's running great. I've had it up to uh, almost sixty. We have a seventeen tooth sprocket in the back, original in the in. I mean seventeen in the front. Pardon me, seventeen in the front, original thirty four in the back. Uh, and it's running great. I did swap it out for full synthetic now. I am running uh, 38 because of our elevation. A 38 Pilot and a 110 Main. And it's running great. Um, we did order a new chain because this one seems to be stretching out. Uh, it's the original chain so it, it stretches out. Uh, we did have to modify the uh, sprocket cover a little bit. This one is aftermarket for a Grom. 
we did have to you know make it into an oval shape on both screws so it can go on but it works uh, that is the original motor 125 with the original uh, exhaust we are going to be swapping that out but not yet because we are going to be swapping that engine for a 212 a uh, ZS 212 um, I am not gonna we're not gonna do that yet we're gonna do that in the uh, in the end of the riding season uh, we did got it we did get it from Dave Bullock uh, this is how it came came nicely packaged somewhat but it, it, it got here with no problems. Um, came with uh, oil cooler, carburetor, all types of stuff. I do have it in the house though right now because I am going to be checking it to make sure that the uh, shift star mod was done. I'm going to grease the starter chain. Um, and then the exhaust uh, in the off season, which that's when we're planning on building this on the off season. And I am going to be uh, going to be bringing you guys along. Um, I'm going to be recording it and uploading it. I'm planning on keeping the car, the Nibby carb. Uh, this Nibby carb because the one that came with it is one of those off-brand you all ones. Um, so I, I do have a whole set of jets, main and pilot, to to make them. You know to to set it up for the the 212 um and like i said on the off season i'm gonna i'm just gonna take this exhaust off and take it to a shop so they can custom make me one for the uh the zs 212 um in stainless steel uh but she loves this bike she rides it all the time uh it fits her very well um she is a smaller person and I do have a, uh, I'm just going to cover her face here. So you can see that she's a smaller person. She fits the bike pretty well. Um, she doesn't complain about the, <laughs> about the weight or the height because it fits her very, very well. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. As of right now, this is what she's got, how she's got it. We stripped all the stickers off of it. Uh, she put the pink rim tape on both tires. She put pro taper, uh, pro taper grips with some eBay uh, levers. Uh, we are, that battery, I don't know if that one was the original one. But it has been working fine. If it ever, if we ever have an issue with it, we'll just uh, swap it out for a better one. Uh, the tires, this one is the original, the back one. The front one we swapped out um, because it had a flat and didn't want to get air, which is right there. So we just bought another one and swapped it out. But uh, yeah. Uh, and like I said, most of you who know, who has been around for a long time, we, uh, we used to have two Chinese 250s, so we know a lot about these. Um, and then this one, the 600 that I'm going to keep, I am going to be doing the Fender Eliminator. You know, obviously it's going to be, we're going to have to cut some stuff because this is an older bike. It's a 1991, uh, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to be swapping the, the turn signals for LEDs back and front. I do have to do uh, fork seals, which I'll just take to the shop and have them do it because this one is leaking. That one is fine, but I'll just have them do both of them. Uh, I do have to wait for the clutch lever. I mean, the clutch cable. I had a little mishap uh, yesterday. Uh, my clutch lever broke on uh, Route 23. For those of you that know, I am in New Jersey, uh, so I broke on Route 23, um, and I had to call someone to help me out and get it here, but we got it here. So, uh, other than that, 
I think that's it. Oh, um, we did get, uh, it's kind of dirty right now. We, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to, you know, customize it a little bit to get it to put on and to get it on. This one is from a Honda Grom and this, we're going to swap that. It, we are grinding these down a little bit. This is from a Honda Grom, uh, to swap these out. These are working pretty good, you know, decent, but you know, we're just going to swap them out for some better ones. The, uh, chain adjusters, uh, we are grinding them down to, so they can fit on that, on the, uh, on the swing arm. So little by little, we're just grinding them down with the grinder and smoothing it out with some files. Um, eventually we got them, we'll get them on there. Um, I do know that she has, some uh, she has some, uh, uh, brake lines coming in, uh, in pink because she's a big pink freak. Um, and I don't know if we're going to be swa swapping the plastics for some pink ones or if she's going to get a, a graphics kit for it, uh, to her liking. Um, but yeah, that's how she looks so far. Uh, the seat is right here. It's not missing. It's sitting right here. Um, yeah, this is how the front is. Uh, I I do want to swap this uh, front light that she has here. Um, I'm probably gonna get the Grom, the three bars, to change that out. But uh, yeah, that's how she's looking right now. Um, and I'll bring some videos as soon as I as soon as I can. Enjoy the rest of your days, guys.